Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Natasha and I'm a cash stuffer here on YouTube. Today I'm going to be doing my sinking funds. I do keep some of my sinking funds on Ally, which is a high yield savings account. And then the rest is in cash in this book here. This is from Soul Mama Rituals on Amazon. And my link is always listed below if you guys are interested. I have my money here, but I'm going to go over my Ally sinking funds really quickly because I did get my tax refund. So some things are just changing. So I got a tax re refund of $36.40. So I'm using $1,200 to pay back my emergency fund. I took out $500 for my new iPhone and I took out $700 to pay for my son's um, dental surgery. So I'm paying myself back with that. And then that would leave me with $24.40. I am going to complete my boiler. I had a goal of $7. 7500 and I needed 1430 more to complete that. So I'm going to be transferring that 1430 and just finishing off the boiler. So I will have $7,500, which leaves me with 1010. Um, I did actually have somebody come to uh, test the mold in the basement. So that was $500. So I'm, I swiped out my credit card. So I'm going to pay myself back to my credit card with this money. And I would have 510 left. So I'm using the other $500 to go towards Columbia. And then, uh, which is just my vacation envelope, basically. And then the $10 I have left will go to Adrian's uh, college account. So that is that. So my roof ended up actually only being, well, my dad hooked it up. I have been waiting like months and months and months. Um, so my dad's friend, my dad works in construction. So he has a lot of people who own favors because he hires them for really big jobs. So he, um, his roofer, I mean, he gives them huge projects for buildings in New York City. My dad was like, don't worry about it. He's going to help us out, whatever. So like in general, a roof would have been anywhere from like a low, very low end, 10,000 to 13,000 on like a mid end. Um, I was getting quotes mostly like around the $12,000 range. Um, so my dad's friend is doing actually my roof and replacing my gutters for $5,000. I don't know if it's $5,000. My dad told me to just give him $5,000. So I don't know if my dad's covering the rest or what, but my dad said, don't worry about it. Just give me the $5,000 and you're good. So I don't know if my dad's hooking me up for real or what, but I'm taking it. I had $10,000 in this um, little bucket on Ally. So I divided it and put $5,000 towards the mold because I have to get it um, remediated. I don't know if that's even the word remediated, but I have to get the remo mold removed and cleaned. So I am I have gotten quote before for mold and I got about $5,000. So I'm just moved the $5,000 towards my mold bucket. Um, and then the boiler, I finished it off with $7,500. So it's checked off, like it's good to go. I'm not gonna do it yet until I need to, but I'm sure my boiler will not make it past this winter. Once the temperatures drop severely, my it just doesn't keep up. It doesn't keep my house warm. I've heard it's going to be a very cold uh, winter, so I don't imagine it lasting. After I get the quote for the mold, depending how much it is, if it's more or less, uh, my next goal is going to be my bathroom. I do put away from four to $500 a month for my house, uh, for my house savings, and then I distribute it. Um, so now that these will be done... My next focus is really my bathroom and then just like general maintenance. I have so much stuff I have to do because I bought a fixer upper. If you guys didn't know, if you guys haven't been following me along from the beginning, I bought a fixer upper and it's still getting fixed. So the bathroom is about going to be about $10,000 is my assumption um, for all the work I have to do because it's like completely gutted basically. Like it's my bathroom's from like the 1970s, <laughs> literally pink tile, floral tile. It's just pink. Uh, everything pink everything it's just so bad so anyways um so that's my little plan here and then sorry if i'm shaking the camera so i have 600 dollars here plus the 500 dollars placeholder for columbia um because i have the money in my checking account which i'm gonna have to buy my flight anyways the two flights i have left to buy will be about 500 dollars. so i'm just gonna leave the money in my checking account and then pay it from there so um i have a little breakdown right over here i mean i don't know if you guys can really see it but that is what i'm gonna be stuffing today so i'm just gonna leave it to the side and so for adrian he is getting a 30 dollars and i'm still gonna actually be using this for i don't have any change i actually have all this money to take to the bank which is a lot of cash so if you guys did not see my unstuffing which i don't post those anyways but so let me just put in two tens and grab a 20. so if any change i'll just be taking it out of here because i have to take this back to the bank anyways i'm putting in what did i say 30. 
so I have $50 and I actually I had thought I finished um, paying off everything for Adrian's birthday party but I forgot that on the day of his birthday party I actually went to the store and bought some stuff so I'm gonna have to use this to pay myself back and then plus probably some from his like my Gibbs envelope I guess because um I think I spent like 80 bucks and there's only 50 so I'm probably just gonna take it out of there so what is today today is October 19th it's actually technically Adrian's birthday it's like midnight um so that is so exciting I do like stuff this i should meant to write november 1st this is for november 1st like this is my november stuffing um so i won't upload this anytime until like november it's kind of confusing it's just how i do it but anyways okay so deposit of what did i say 30 i never even rounded this down okay so what did i say 30 okay i never deducted like all the stuff i spent but all right so i'm just gonna leave this in the back and then i'll fix it when i'm done filming so for car maintenance, I am putting in $95 and I have $205. No, I don't. Oh, yes, I do. Okay. So I'm going to put down the five and grab 100 and I have $300 now. And I am going to be getting an oil change because it's over, it's past like the amount it says. This is also a little um, tip for any of the girlies out here who don't know what the hell they're doing with their cars. Like, if you have a newer car and it tells you when you need an oil change, wait until that comes up. Because sometimes when you go to certain places, they give you, like, a little sticker that tells you the mileage. But if the car is not telling you you need an oil change, you do not need an oil change. My dad told me that. Um, like, right now, I already passed the number on the dash from the um, place I got my oil change done saying that I need to get a new oil change. And my car still says it has 35% oil. Um, and if you use your car pretty frequently, like, at least I do, I use my car a lot. The oil is not old, so the car will tell you when you need the oil change. And my dad said that's just like a little scam. So, I mean, who knows if my dad's right? My dad's pretty good with cars, so I trust him. But, um, okay, so I'm going to do so 125. So I'm going to put down the 25 and grab 100. And this is for my dogs. So they have $200, which is not a lot for having two dogs. But, um... Yeah, I was stuffing more, I feel like, before into this. So I need to get back into stuffing whatever I was stuffing before. Because at one point, I had $800, $910. So, yeah, I need to start getting back into that. All right, so for gifts, I'm sorry if you can hear Adrian snoring. <laughs> for gifts, I have $30 left. I'm putting in $50. But like I said, I'm probably going to use this. I just realized I did not do the other tracker. I'm going to use this to pay myself back for um, the stuff for Adrian's birthday party because I definitely went over budget by accident. Okay, so let me go back and update this real quick. So, November 1, deposit. What did I say? 75? So it's 200. And... So for vacation, I am putting in $100 plus the $500 deposit plus, hold on, okay, so I'm doing $100 plus $500, and then I had $100 as well in um, my... I was starting to pay myself back for the emergency fund until I realized my dad did my tax refund. So this is $100 in here, and I'm going to take this out and put it towards Columbia. So I stuffed $700 in total. Yes. So we should have $800 now. So we have the $500, $600, $700, $750, $70, $90, $80, $90, $100, $200, $300, $400, $500, $600, $700, $800, $900, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1
So I'm not going to be digging into this, I feel like, anymore. Like, I'm not going to be going to random little shows because I need to go see that money. That's the priority. All right, so I have $100 in here. And it just sucks because I do like to go to concerts, but I need to um, save money for his concert because the tickets are crazy. So, all right, let's see what we have here. Let me do... Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, ninety, five, hundred, and that's still a hundred dollars. Okay. So in medical, which I have to go pick up some medication tomorrow, and um, I have to pay some copays and stuff. I just have a lot of incoming like medical bills. It's just crazy, but. I added 100, I had 35, so 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 10, 20, oh my gosh, 10, 25, wait, what? Okay, this is, those are all stuck together. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 10, 25, 35. Okay, so 135, and... There's that. And then for Christmas, I'm putting in $100. And I have $6.95. I should have put in another $5 bill, but. All right, so I have $500 in the bank. I'm adding in $50, 70 90 100 So. So recently I had um, went through and wrote like a list, which I don't have it like close to me right now. I don't know where it is, but where I put it, but I wrote down a list of everyone I have to buy for Christmas. I do buy for a lot of people because I have a large family. So I buy for a little something for everyone. I don't get like large gifts for everybody, but I get a little something, something for everybody. If you want to like, just make sure you have enough money for Christmas, go through, write down your budget, everybody who you can think of that you need to buy a gift for. I will also leave down below. I made last year a video of like things I forgot to budget for Christmas, which I'm still not budgeting for them. But at least if like you have the money, you can like think about those things and add it to your budget, like decorations and just a bunch of stuff that I have forgotten. So I'm not doing any decorations or anything like that. I'm not super into Christmas the way I am into Halloween. So like I just, I literally have a Christmas tree ornament and then like a few little like things around my house. I do not have a lot for Christmas. I just, it's not my thing. At least de decor wise, I do like the holiday itself. Yeah, so that way, like I was stuffing $75 every month. Um, as you can see, and then I started to add 100 because I realized I was going to be short um, because I forgot. Well, so some of my cousins have had kids in the last year, <laughs> um, so I had to add them. And then a few other people who I feel like I never write them down for some reason, like I never budget for them. And then last minute, I'm always like, oh my God, I know they're going to get me something. I have to get them something back. So anyways, okay, so I have $500 in the bank. So I will link that video down below if you guys want to look at it. So 600 50 700 20 40 60 80 95 So that's correct. And I mean, one thing I did forget to budget in here was for me and Adrian, we're doing our Christmas photos, which is actually why I'm like behind on my budget is because I got Christmas photos that were a little bit more money than I usually spend. I usually spend like 150, 200 max and this year I spent 300. So that put me kind of like backwards, but I didn't budget for like the gown or the, the tuxedo that Adrian's going to wear. So we'll figure that out when the time comes. But wait, this usually I put in the front. Alrighty. Okay, so I will put away all these um, trackers and put them back. But anyways, guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.